But it looks like it took a little wrangling to get right. those horses back to the right. corral, Brooke. That's kind of crazy to see. <laughs> the time right now is 6.48. We are sitting at 6 in Butte. We're in the mid-20s, though, for Missoula at 24, 22 in Kalispell, 19 in Bozeman. Now, friends and family in central and eastern Montana, a little bit colder. Below zero this morning. Great Great Falls and Jordan, Glasgow, sitting at one below. Here's a little activity going on. We got a little light snow moving into northwest Montana. That's what we're going to see throughout the day today. A little bit of light snow around the area. A few weak disturbances passing through today and Tuesday will allow for us to see snowflakes. Now, not a lot of it's going to accumulate. Uh, could see a dusting up to an inch in our valley locations. Mountain passes like Lookout and Lolo uh, could see maybe one to four inches of snowfall. So let's time out some of those showers and talk about impacts right around four. 4 o'clock today, a little bit of snowfall around Butte, also east of Missoula. The corridor could have a little bit of light snow. A scattering of snow showers in northwest and southwest Montana starting to see a little bit of light snow. Southwest Montana, you get your better chance of snow as we head into the evening hours. In fact, tonight and to your Tuesday, we are tracking a winter weather advisory for southern Beaverhead, Madison, and Gallatin County. We'll keep that snow going throughout your Tuesday. Starts to diminish for us as we head into your Wednesday with drier skies for the end of the work week. So the Clearwater Mountains, and, of course, uh, Southern Beaverhead, Madison, and Gallatin County. That's where winter weather advisories are out. But that's not the only area where we expect to see snow accumulate. We look for one to two inches of snow in and around Kalispell. Northern Rocky Mountain Front, Glacier Park area, could see uh, maybe uh, three to six inches of snow there in the Glacier Park area. Higher, though, up high in our higher elevations at least. Lookout Pass, Lolo Pass, could see a couple inches of snow. And same goes for Manida Pass and Reynolds Pass. Be sure to stay alert to changing weather conditions. Mountain Pass is looking at one to four inches today. And then another one to two inches of snow as we head uh, into your Tuesday night and Wednesday before those showers start to diminish. Here's your forecast today. High temperatures. You're going to be in the 30s, 36 for Falls and Superior, 33 Clinton, 32 Hamilton, 31 this afternoon in Ennis. Tonight, low temperatures. They're going to be dropping into the single digits and teens down to 19 tonight. Clinton and Polson, single digits for Dillon at around 8. Here's a look at your forecast as we make our way through the next 10 days. Kalispell, we keep our temperatures mid 30s below normal for this time of year by about 5 degrees. Partly cloudy skies for the end of the week. Temperatures warming above normal into the low 40s this weekend. Mix of sun and clouds in store for you in the Flathead Valley. For Missoula, your 10-day forecast. We have some cloud cover that will linger through your Tuesday. Again, Tuesday's snowfall will mainly stay in southwest Montana. Temperatures will be in the mid-30s, which is below normal. Now, we keep things below normal Wednesday and Thursday, but we're gradually warming into the mid-40s mid and even close to the 50 degree mark by early next week. For Butte, next 10 days for you. Temperatures below normal, below the freezing mark through Wednesday. You'll hit 32 on Thursday. Temperatures will warm back into the low 40s this weekend with overnight lows rebounding. Overnight low temperatures this week will stay in the single digits, but by the weekend, expecting overnight lows in the teens. For Bozeman, your 10 day forecast temperatures right around 30 today and tomorrow. A little bit of light snow, especially tonight into your Tuesday morning. I could see some minor travel impacts early Tuesday. Temperatures for you Wednesday and Thursday above freezing by the weekend. Temperatures back to normal mid to low 40s with overnight lows in the upper upper teens and low 20s. And since you and I came on live on the air, it looks like places like Summers, mm -hmm. uh, Lakeside, Whitefish, all the way up to you, we could have really iced over. Right, you know, we're starting to also see a little bit of light snow moving into northwest Montana, and it only takes a dusting uh, to create some slick travel. All right, thanks mm -hmm. so much. And do download our NBC Montana news and weather apps so we can get severe weather alerts and even breaking news to you 24 hours a day. Well, coming up, one of the world's most famous races is underway on a good pack of snow. And I have a new update for you on Montana's Musher and all of those taking part in the Iditarod right now. And this is a live look over Bozeman from our Opportunity Bank of Montana weather camera.